All right, let's go ahead and solve the following problem by first building an equation, making sure it's a quadratic equation, and then using the quadratic function to solve. <coughs> so I'm looking for the sum of the squares of two consecutive real numbers, and I know that that value is equal to 61. Let's let the first number be n. So my two numbers are n and the next one, the next consecutive real number is n plus 1. So I know that the sum of the squares of these two numbers is equal to 61. Now I need to expand. I need to expand the squared binomial so that I can get to standard form. So I'll leave the n squared alone. When I do that, it's like doing FOIL of n plus 1 times n plus 1. So this will leave me with n squared plus 2n plus 1. And that's still all equal to 61. Now my solutions are going to be my roots, so I have to let this function equal 0. So I need to move the 61 over to the other side. As I'm doing this, I'm going to collect like terms. I have 1, 2, n squared, so 2, n squared, 2, n, and then 1 minus 61, so minus 60. I'll let that equal to 0. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use the quadratic function to, or formula to solve this. So I know my a value is going to be 2. My b value is going to be 2. And my c value is going to be minus 60. So I'll go ahead and find my determinant first. So my determinant is equal to b squared minus 4 AC, which is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 60, which would be 4 plus 480, or 484. Next, I'm going to use my quadratic formula. By the way, I know that this gives me two real roots, which is good because I'm looking for two solutions that are going to be real numbers. So, n is equal to negative b plus or minus four, the square root of 4ac all over 2a. I'll just substitute some numbers. So negative b is negative 2, right? b was 2. Plus or minus the square root of the determinant, which is 484. All over 2a, which is 2 times 2. When I simplify this, I have minus 2 plus or minus. 4 on the denominator, and then I get out my calculator. Let's take 484, and we'll find the square root. It's 22. So plus or minus 22. Now I'm going to have to go through this calculation to find the first number by adding 22 and dividing by 4. So in blue, with addition, this will be minus 2 plus 22 over 4, which will equal 5, because 20 divided by 5, or 4, is equal to 5. Next, I'm going to have minus 22. So, in green for the negative, I'll have negative 2 minus 22 
all divided by 4. So that would be negative 24 divided by 4, negative 6. All right. So here we go. I've got two solutions. Let's examine which solution works. Remember the question asked us to find the sum of the squares of two consecutive real numbers being equal to 61. So let's try that with 6 first. So with 6, or negative 6 rather. So we've got negative 6 squared plus negative 6 plus 1 squared. Well that will equal negative 6 squared is 36. And then here we've got negative 5 squared. Negative 5 squared is plus 25. That will equal 61. Does that solve our problem? Yes, it does. But let's have a look at the other root as well. Using 5, with 5 as our number. We have 5 squared plus 5 plus 1 squared. This again will give me 25 plus the square of 6 is 36, equal to 61. So from here, I've got two different ways of saying this. I can say the numbers are and 6 or negative 5 and negative 6. Either one would be an acceptable answer.